I got another quick gunsmith's tip for you guys today, and that is involving 1911 triggers. Don't mind this gunsmith's book here. It actually has nothing to do with what we're talking about. I wanted to talk about triggers today. This is a Smith & Wesson 945. Not a real 1911, I know, but it's got a 1911 trigger. And the issue we're talking about today is this bent piece of basically sheet metal here. Uh, when you're taking it apart and working on it, filing on the trigger, uh, it likes to do just that. It likes to bend. And it's very easy to get it bent just enough that it likes to bind up. And when you put the gun back together, if you're doing a trigger job, you need to make sure that the trigger slides freely and easily. And that you can kind of just go and have it fall right out of the frame pretty much. That's very important. And it can also be the source of malfunctions. Hope this helps somebody.